What's shaking everybody? It's Mr. Scary Muffin and man I'm talking about PAX a lot this week that's because PAX was awesome. One of the greatest games that I played was freaking Dive Kick. Now full, full disclosure I played not played I've heard of Dive Kick before I went to PAX I watched it on Maximilian's channel and I was like yes please this is a fighting game that only uses two buttons I got, I'm using my left and my right control and basically, uh, let's see if... Here you go. Uh, la, 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 la. How to play. So, <laughs> using the two buttons, there's not even a directional control. I could push my dive button, which is like my jump. It'll dive into the air. And I can kick from the air and do an angle attack. Or I can do a kickback, which is just hitting kick while on the ground. And uh, so that's general stuff. Special techniques. I have a little shoe meter at the bottom. And every time I do a kick, it fills up the shoe meter. Um, if I hit both my dive and kick buttons while on the ground or in the air, it uses the special ability. And the special ability changes depending on which character you are. You are. Um, if I fill it up, I, get, I automatically enter kick factor, which lets me move faster. Um, headshots. In the game, if I kick them in the head, it'll give my opponent a concussion next round, which makes it uh, so that they can't move as fast. Also, it makes them lose all their meter as well, all their kick factor meter. Um, <laughs> if a match ends in a draw, there's a giant foot that comes over and kills us. Uh, there's a 20 second time limit, and at the end of 20 seconds, the winner is the person who's closest to the line in the middle. Oh, and these are all the characters that, and explains all their special moves and stuff like that. Okay, that's cool. I will probably read up on this uh, outside of the show, outside of this recording, and we'll figure it out as we go along. I already know some of the characters and how they work. Um, but we're going to play the story mode, and I like this because I want to play fighting games, but I'm so bad at them. So I figured, hey, why not get this thing and I can actually play. Oh, cool. So I can play uh, I can play story mode for all these different characters. Cool. So I think the main characters in the game is, are uh, Dai and his brother Kick. They're like the, the Ryu and Ken of the series. But we're going to start with Dai and then we'll go to Kick afterwards. So he has two special moves, Terminal Velocity and Parabolic Arc. This contest is trivial. Select your gems! Oh, cool, gems. Okay, so how the gems work, uh, style gem just gets you more meter per kick. Um, dive just makes your dives faster. Uh, kick makes your kicks faster. And YOLO makes it so that you have full meter or you build meter like ridiculously fast. Um, oh no, plus 30% to everything that you have. So you build meter really fast, you have fast kick, you have uh, fast dive and everything but if you get if you lose even one round if you get touched even once you lose the entire thing so a yolo is for super pros uh but even super pros screw up so let's see i think for this guy i'm just gonna go with the meter jump and let's go with the ryu colors Born and raised in West Philadelphia with his fraternal twin brother Kick, Dive is a serious math student and dreams of a promising career as a statistician. Check out Dive in the background there, hitting on that girl. A, play a playground brawl sends Dive's mother to send the boys to live in Bel Air, where they're a strangled uncle, a 10 time world dive kicking champion. Vector calculus! <laughs> dive neglects his kick training for a bit to favor his studies, but his natural talent calculating angles helps him. After quickly turning him to one of the most serious threats in the dive kick circuit, Dive fights because he expects to. He doesn't want to let his uncle or his mother down. Cool. Dive bar. Oh my gosh. A tip from Uncle Sensei: Just the uh huh. Fight against the boss. All right. So I think. Round one. All right. Here we go. All right. So that's my. Oh gosh. Okay, okay. So if you're wondering, the AI is set to normal, uh, otherwise known as meh. Oh, in the balls. Um, yeah, so it's set to meh, which is normal. Easy is called cakewalk, and hard is called tough stuff. 
Oh, I jumped right into it. So Baz doesn't actually hit you with a kick. He creates a lightning, which is... Which the lightning, if you step into the lightning, then you die. Wow, my, my guy is actually really slow, it feels like. Oh gosh. Multiply? Woo! Alright. Alright. <laughs> I got my I got my meter going. Oh boy. I, this is this is actually a little bit slower than I remembered. Oh gosh, that's a so yeah, one hit kills, and <laughs> it's first to five wins, and I'm actually doing pretty bad right now. I think I'm just gonna stand here, I might be able to win just by standing here. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not very good at not losing. I'm not very good at not losing, but hey. Alright, let's see how we do this. Winning is only half the battle, losing is the other half. I'm playing Markman. Some of these characters are actually based on yes. real people. I'm pretty sure this guy is like the CEO of Mad Cats or something. And he's like a Phoenix Wright character. Uh, he has a little controller thing at the bottom. If he, I think his like ground attack lets him look for it. Items. And if he completes it, he gets something cool. I'm gonna try to get a headshot. I'm gonna try to get a headshot. I got a pretty good jump. There we go. Headshot. It's pretty cool though. I like being able to play with two buttons. Uh, when they had the game, when they had the game at PAX, um, they had the the, the quote unquote like arcade edition stuff. Oh, fraud detection. So fraud detection is if I kill him like five times in a row without him even taking a single game. Oh my god, that should have been totally my hit. No! Dang it! And at the booth, if you got frauded, they will take a stamp. They will take a stamp and uh, stamp you. Suck it! But yeah, they had an arcade edition that literally just like two giant buttons and you just slap them. It was so satisfying slapping them. Better to master two moves than to know 20,000. It's true! All you need to know is dive and kick. Oh! I'm playing against my brother! <laughs> when playing online, be sure to pull the plug. Listen to this music on this level. It's totally Fresh Prince. So it's actually story. So kick is very similar to dive in terms of speed and angle, and uh, but his ability is a little different. Shit, he has he has different abilities or special moves. Suck it in the face. Not the flashy thing. What the? Best Philadelphia, born and raised. How did he avoid that kick? Ah! Oh! It's a statistical anomaly! <laughs> Round four! Die kick! Suck it! I use my special ability. That ability is pretty cool. Oh! I couldn't jump again! Sucks! Now I have. See, I, I got that yellow thing that counts how long uh, I'm gonna be in this thing for. Oh gosh, I couldn't jump! Oh my goodness, I might actually lose here. Did I mention I suck at fighting games? Oh no! So painful. What?
Okay. I was like, I tried to hit both buttons at the same time. Oh my gosh. Alright, the computer's playing smarter than I am. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad at this. Okay, he's got a like, yellow gem, whatever that means. Uh, got him! Caught him in the shins. And there's a mom standing in the background there. Apparently she's supposed to look like somebody as well. Haha, -ha, I tricked him! I, I use my uh, air thing, which makes me drop faster. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh no! <laughs> it's pretty funny. Come on, I, want, I need him to land just in front of me so I could do my parabolic thing. Suck it! <laughs> the ball falls on his head. Yes! That's what I was looking for! Double kill! What's up? Alright, I hope the game didn't get easier for me, or maybe I just got better. Uh, yeah, because sometimes, you know, when you lose a game, they like make it a little bit easier so you don't have such a hard time. Medical facility. Okay, so Uncle Sensei is their uncle, I get it. Um, so this is Stream, he's a stream monster. He's kind of crazy. I Whoa, he can fly. Okay, I see it. Got him. That's a little bit weird. Okay. Gah, I thought I got a headshot. Did he say ice cream? So I think in terms of characters, stream is probably like the worst, it looks like. Uh, so perfect is when you do only one kick and you... Uh, Oh my gosh, did I get another perfect? I don't even know. Anyways. Let's gotta fraud him. Let's gotta. Let's gotta. I'm gonna just build meter and get into my super. Fraud detected! Stamp that guy! Whew. Oh yeah! All S's. West Philadelphia, born and raised. When I was dive kicking all through my days. Yes, from above. Round. All right, One. Kung Pao. I think it's like Kung Lao from. Oh, my face! <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. okay, not a big deal. Not a big deal. All right. All right. So she's making those riffs in the air and what those rifts do is that she can travel through them but she has to make one on the ground first and then make one in the air and then she, like like portal ah, in the shin her sounds so annoying aha uh -huh, kick oh my face dang it that sucks Oh no! Wow, she's got a pretty good angle. It makes it really hard to avoid. Aha! So what's really cool about Dive Kick is that the game is all about spacing, which is a major element in fighting games anyways. And it's like you uh, learn how to play the spacing game against people. And there's it's like a fighting game because you get, you get to work it, you know? Ah, she can't avoid this. It's, there's so much depth in this game, it's surprising just because of the spacing game 
and uh, the people with the different abilities and angles, and the fact that I'm just using two buttons, it's pretty crazy. <gasps> Uncle Sensei, 